Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. And in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the cascading of the information in using combo boxes. So if you're interested, do watch until the end. I hope that you will learn what to do from this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. In any case, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do hit the bell icon so you get notification as well whenever I upload a new video. Right, so I've got a form which is blank. I've got three tables, category, a couple of categories, and then I've got uh, the product type which is linked to the category table. So each category has multiple products. And I've got products table as well, which means each product has, uh, you know, for the same for the same product category, there are multiple products as well. So what I want is I want all of this information to be populated onto this form using the combo boxes as if we are making a user interface for user to do the selection. So this is what I'm going to demonstrate. So let's get right into it. So let's say I go to the create tab and because I want three combo boxes right here in the middle and I go to the um, Sorry, I go to the form design, I go to the control tab, and in here I choose the combo box control and I drag and drop in here. You will get a wizard. I normally don't use wizard, but if you want, please go ahead and do that. But I usually cancel them. And then I do the customization based on the needs. So here I'm going to give a name, choose category, something like that. Okay. And let's do a little formatting uh, for this combo box. So let's select uh, the label and combo box and let's make it full black. And, you know, I'll go to format. I will increase the height of this combo box to 0 0.3. Now I want the horizontal alignment of the text in the middle. So let's go to the top margin 0 0.05. There we go. Now I want to drag a little bit to increase the width of this combo box. Okay, now we have got one combo box, but actually this doesn't do anything. You know why? Because there is no data. All right, so we'll get to the data later on. But first, let's have two more combo boxes. So I'll copy this, copy, paste, paste, easy. And I'll give a little bit of space in between of these combo boxes so we can see the data clearly all right here we go i think that's enough now let's give the name meaningful name to all the combo boxes this one is uh, for the category so we'll give uh, cbo category okay and this one is for type and we'll give a name cbo type and this is for the products. So we'll give a name CBO products. Okay. Now I'll change the label as well. Choose the product type. And in here, choose the product itself. Now, if we will go to the, the form view, yes, we have got three combo boxes nicely in the middle of the form. But these combo boxes does nothing. So I need to build, I need to bind these combo boxes with the data. Now, how do I do that? Very simple. I'll go to the design view and I will link, I will uh, assign the data for each combo box. So I, I selected the combo box. I go to the property sheet, go to the data tab and row source dot 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 in here. This is category combo box. So I'll fetch the category table. And I'll fetch both uh, fields as well. Let's close that. And now if I'll go to the form view, I will have some information. Now this information is in widget numerical value, which means user have to remember the uh, product ID type electronics is what's the ID. That's not really user friendly. So let's fix that. So we'll go to design view. I'll select that and I'll go to format. And I will choose two as a column count. And the first one is ID, so we will hide it. But the second one we do want we want to see actually. So that's why I give one. So if I go here in the form view, 
now we can see the names of the each category rather than the number now i think it's more user friendly now let's go ahead and repeat the same with the type and the product so we'll go to the design view and we'll go select the choose type we'll go to data tab raw source dot 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 and now we will choose the product types and in here this time we'll fetch all three fields so we can get the data we'll save that we'll close it and because three columns so we'll give three columns okay let's give three columns and in here the column width would be zero one zero right okay now we've got the type let's repeat the same for the product so we'll select the cbo product we'll go to data tab row source dot 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 and we double click on the product and product id product name or type id let's save it close it and again we'll go to the column count three zero column one one zero okay now let's see the uh, form view and now we can see that yes there are many uh, product types it doesn't matter what category you have chosen all the product types that reside in the database they will populate onto the combo box and similar with the products also so this will be very hard for the user uh, because they have to scroll up and down or they have to write keywords to search the record that's not really user friendly experience so that's where the cascading is actually used and this is a classic example for example we want this data in this combo box to be dependent on this combo box and similarly we want data in the products combo box to be dependent on the types combo box that's what we want and is it difficult to achieve no it's very easy to achieve so let's go ahead and see that we'll go to design view and i'll select this category table uh, category uh, combo box i'll go to the event tab after update event dot 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 code builder and we will write one line of code me dot cbo type dot the query all right so that's done let's close that so now we have done the uh, one line of code behind the after update event behind the category now let's check it out will it work or not so let's go to form view and we have selected home appliance and i should see the type as home appliance also but oh, oh it's still showing all the product types so what happened well we have to give a criteria as well in the query to make it work it's not just while i have code it will require it won't require it won't give you the data that you need uh, particularly so you have to put some sort of criteria so let's go to the design view we select that we go to the uh, property sheet row source dot 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 and in here you can see that the criteria is nothing so that's why the entire list is populated so let's give the criteria here so we'll give criteria of the category combo box right so forms cascading combo cbo category all right so that's just that's what that's what we need and let's do the same with the products so before we forget let's go to dot 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 and this time i'll give reference of the product id that is residing on to the cascading combo box form so i'll say forms exclamation mark cascading combo box exclamation mark and this time we will refer to cbo type all right now let's check it out so home appliance we should see only home appliance electronics we should see only electronics so this is how it works now will we see the products in the smartphones right you can see here so if i'll change from smartphone to laptops we can see here still iphone 13 galaxy again we haven't provided the query behind this combo box that's why it's not filtering properly so we'll select that we'll go to the event tab after update event dot 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 code builder oops not this we want the code builder 
and in here we'll say me dot product sorry me dot cbo product dot okay my laptop is acting very weirdly okay all right here we go let's close that now let's test it out whether the products will be filtered based on the chart type so i selected that we can see macbook air dell lenovo asus acer but if i'll select the smartphone you'll see it will clear out and i'll have only the smartphones in the list that's how you change the user experience for your user by making it more user friendly by adopting these kind of uh, tips and tricks thank you very much for watching if you're still watching i hope that you have learned something if you have please do uh, tell me uh, if you have learned something and do this smash the like button and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload video this is it and i'll see you in the next one